Hey everybody, I'm Justin. Welcome back to the VMP Performance Channel. Today, I wanna to show you how VMP pulleys are made. We're at Silver Horse Racing and we're gonna go inside. Hey man, how's it going? Good, how you doing today? Good. So uh, what do we got on the machine today? So today, Justin, we're gonna be running uh, some of your uh, smaller pulleys, your 10 rib kits. Let's show everybody how they start out and we'll take them through them the raw material to the finished pulley. Sounds good. Come on over here, take a look at our material wrap. Over here you see we start with a 12 foot billet. And each one of those weighs about 350 pounds. And then we cut that up into slugs in our automatic saw. And then we'll take those slugs and take them over to our CNC machines to cut them up. Or stainless steel. That's gonna take a while. That, that takes a few minutes. From there, we'll take walk over here and see the slugs. Ah, one of these puppies right here. Yep, loaded and ready to go. So they're cut to approximately the uh, length of the pulley. That is correct. And then from there, do you want to load one up? Sure. All right, Marcella's gonna load one up in the machine. live tooling, we have milling, turning, sub-spindle turning, sub-spindle milling. Uh, we make a complete part in one shot. So the supercharger pulley is probably one of the most uh, underlooked parts in a supercharger system. It has to spin at a very high RPM. It has to spin true and concentric. It has to have proper machine on the grooves to hold the belt. And it's also the first thing you see when you pop the hood. So it's got to look good, hold up, be durable, just endure massive amounts of abuse. So all of those things you're talking about, Marcelo, are what help ensure a quality product, something that's made in one operation, doesn't have issues with being out of ground or uh, any other quality issues. That's, that's correct. Everything we do uh, to reduce handing off from person to person or operation to operation reduces the chance for error and creates a better part when we're finished. Awesome. Let's see some parts spin up. Okay. Five of them. So if you want to shoot two different Take one in the machine. Let's see what happens. So the machine just did operation one. Since this is a dual spindle machine, it's gonna hand the part off to the other spindle and start op two, which is pretty cool. We're gonna show you. part and do some inspection on it. So the final operation for the pulley was cutting the bolt holes and the cosmetic outside scalloping that I like to call it. And this was all done in the fixture to make sure that the bolt holes are concentric with the ribs and the pulley runs true on your supercharger. Now we're gonna go over to QC and check out the pulley. 
These are just some of the tools that they use to ensure that our VMP pulleys are made perfectly to print. And let's take some measurements, see where we are. First thing Marcelo's gonna do is check the diameter of the pulley. Each different size pulley has a different run on the machine because sometimes different base material is required and a different program is absolutely required for each different size. We're checking outer diameter, we'll check overall height, concentricity we can check, we can also check the inner diameters and make sure everything is within specification and meets tolerance for an OEM or better part. So that's one of the most important thing about CNC machined aluminum parts. Everything we do is derived from a model and from those models exacting prints and specifications are developed so when someone like Marcelo goes to make it he has a drawing to follow and he can ensure that the finished parts meet the specifications on that drawing. One of the steps in the inspection process is checking the pulley against a VMP supercharger hub. We're going to head over to the warehouse at VMP and I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like. I'm back at the VMP warehouse and behind me is our wall of supercharger pulleys. All kinds of different sizes in 6, 8, and 10 rib to support GT500, Coyote, and Cobra supercharger applications. I'm going to grab one and show you what the finished product looks like. Let's see here. This is a 2.6 inch 10 rib most commonly used on a Shelby GT500 with a VMP Gen 2R, Gen 3R, also used on the Coyote with the 10 rib kit. It has been black anodized. It's been laser etched with the size for easy identification, and it is ready to ship out to you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. We'll be doing a lot more videos like this. I'll see you next time.